I'm interviewing people here in Sydney um, some questions about money you know what people use money on and like what sort of values that people have towards money do you think you are a frugal person or extravagant person what do you not mind using money what do you use the money the most in your life you get $800 and how much do you spend in a week mm. yeah Hello everyone, how are you guys? Goi, minasan, go kenika de shoka, kyo mo kano semu gendai des. It's Tarot Sack. Tということで, kyo no doga dewa, gai kokuji ni kita, anata no seikat hi wa ikura. Tuyu tema de, yatte ikitai to moimas. Insta no story to ka mite ると, ko, jimoto no tomodachi no kyujit no sugo shi kata to ka, mukashi no do kyuse no crash to ka, kiko kaima mire ru janai des ka, kono hito wa it's mo konna koto shi ter na to ka, nande it's mo kono hito wa kou kyu restaurant no liori bakari up shi ter ndes ka te kanji no toko kiko arimasen. Nani yatte ru hito na ですかみたいなねまあまた一方ではそういう人たちだけではなく普通に仕事をしてね質素に暮らしている方の方が大半だとは思うんですけどみんな何の仕事をしていくら給料もらっていて生活費とか雑費にどのぐらいかけててどのぐらい貯金できてるのかとか人のお金の使い方これ気になりません ?72% の日本国民がこれ好きな人のスマホの次に気になってるということで僕のチャンネルは見るだけで頭の中がグローバル化をコンセプトにやってますので今日はここシドニーでいろんな国出身の人にみんなどのぐらいお金をもらってて何にどのぐらいお金を使っているのか外国人のお金の使い方や世界のお金に対する価値観が見るだけで分かっちゃうようなインタビュー動画これから撮っていきたいと思います僕のチャンネルでは様々なトピックに関する外国人へのインタビュー動画を毎週配信してます見るだけで頭の中がグローバル化すること間違いなし面白いと思ってもらえた方はチャンネル登録よろしくお願いしますということで今日も早速いきましょう Okie dokie, thank you very much for your help. Where are you from? Oh, Italy. Italy. Italy as well, both of us. Okay, both of you from Italy. And, okay, did you work in Italy? Yeah. What did you do? I always did、um, gardening and landscaping. Gardening and landscaping. What is landscaping? The, you... Yeah, landscaping is the、yeah, same thing, gardening, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. What did you do? I was working in a no profit association. In English, we call it NGO, so、oh, non governmental、oh, yeah. organization. Yes. Like, what sort of、uh, things did you do?、Um, I was working with refugees mostly.、Okay. So,、oh. it's like a sort of bridge between like, the society in Italy and,、uh, and them. So, in order to help them doing whatever they need to do、oh, when、right. they come to Italy. Okay,、yeah. so you're helping people.、Yeah. You used to help people in Italy. Yes.、Yeah. Okay. This is random, but today here in Sydney, I'm interviewing people some questions about、uh, money. You know, what people use money on, and also like what sort of value people have towards money. First of all, my first question is gonna be like this Do you think you are good at managing money or bad at managing money? Can you control your money? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, you yeah, think so? Yeah, yeah, not so bad. Not so bad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What do you think? Same for me. I think we're pretty good. Maybe not the best, but probably so far so good, I would、okay. say. <laughs> yeah. Do you like, like spending a lot of money on like, expensive clothes, fashion brands, and all that? Or? No, nothing at all. It's my last thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, the last one, yeah. Sorry, this <laughs> Never is. Never done, probably.、Yeah. Never done, probably.、Yeah. And you're, you're the same? Ah,、uh, Kind of, yeah, I would say. Kind of the same. Sometimes, like it happens that I will buy something cooler, let's say, but yeah, it's definitely one of my last t h i n g to do. Okay, because I really needed to say, because I've been to Italy actually, Milano and Venezia, but、yeah. especially Milano, lots、it's、of. The fashion,、uh, yeah, 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 capital of the fashion. Exactly.、Yeah. Milano is a capital of a fashion, and there are many expensive brands. Yeah. And I think that Italian people love that sort of stuff, but、yeah. it depends on the people. It, it, it depends、yeah. where you live because、yeah. if you see people that live in the big city, like if you see people that live in Milan, yeah, yeah it's really common that you see people dress e d with expensive, expensive stuff.、Yeah. stuff. We come from, from a countryside,、oh, okay. and、uh, yeah, that's different. So you are a more frugal person, you、yeah. don't throw the money yeah. out. Yeah. Okay, okay. So Working as a, a gardener,、yeah. um, how much approximately you used to get a week?、Uh, we, we paid monthly. Oh, yeah, monthly, monthly so, okay. So, Let's go. Uh, uh, it was around 1,500 euro. euro. 
uh, yeah. it's gonna be in Australian dollars. In Australian dollars, uh, uh, two thousand five hundred. Okay, one month, two thousand five hundred Australian dollars. And how much did you use usually? How much did you used to use in a month? This is a good question. Yeah, <laughs> because. When I was young, yeah. because I started to work at 18, 19 years yeah. old, I used to spend everything. Everything? Everything. Just going party on the weekend. Yeah. And yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> Go to skiing in the winter, yeah. do sport, uh, just hobby, just yeah. uh, enjoyment stuff. Just enjoy your life yeah. every day, yeah? Now it's different. Now I think more saving money to travel. Yeah, I'll save money to travel. To travel, yeah. Okay. That's probably my big saving is to travel to travel yeah and yeah even a bit of money to maybe making something i'm thinking maybe making something some business in the future oh, okay just so, for yeah. yeah for some new plan or yeah. something like that so i try to save and i i watch the money now <laughs> oh, that's good that's good yeah. uh, you working as a uh, in an ngo yeah. And how much did you used to get? Uh, it's not very good money. Yeah, because it's a non-profitable. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be around like one thousand per month euros, of course. But also, like you have to be to take in your mind the fact that in Italy life is less expensive than yeah. here in Australia. So Definitely. also, like his uh, salary was less in here probably, but of course, like the life is cheaper back in Italy. Yeah. But the salary is still not adequate to our life. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, so you had a thousand. And how much did you use to use it? Uh, since it was not a lot of money, I basically used, I wouldn't say the entire part of it, but uh, let's say 80%. 80%, yeah? yeah? Because of course, like with the rent and then food and yeah. whatever gas for the car, I used yeah. to go working by car. It's pretty a lot, but yeah. So you were saving like 20% in yeah. a bank. Why, what was the reason for you to save money? Uh, more or less the same in the sense that I really love using my money in traveling because it's something that will make you growing personally and culturally. So true. I really love this fact. Um, so I think that most of my savings are for traveling as well or for eating outside because I love eating. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. It's one of my biggest hobby, I would say. Okay, so you're in Australia now. Yes. Nowadays, what do you use the money on the most? Now actually we are working to just saving money to keep oh. going traveling. Oh yeah. right. So, so you're saving much, stage now. Yeah, I'm, when we work we save the money and then we traveling because we're still changing places in Australia. Oh, so But it's a part of it's it's just a it's a stage in your life that you're you're yeah. enjoying your life yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, it's a moment like this. It's probably it's gonna last gap, one year. Say. Okay. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Taking a one year gap in your life. Kind of. yeah. 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 That's good. Okay. Uh, when you're when you're thinking saving money, do you have you ever also invested like in a stock market or something? Because nowadays many people do that, you know? Yeah, I'm started after COVID. Oh yeah. Well many people started after COVID, uh, yeah. Because yes, in Japan the, too. Yeah. The market was really down. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you study? Yeah, I didn't study. Actually, I tried by myself. Oh, I'm doing good. by myself. Try yeah. and error. Try and error. Yeah, yeah. I learned yeah. a bit. I actually, I, my father, then used to do it a bit. Oh, so really? I asked him uh, some tips, advice. Tips, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tips, tips. Uh, and it, yeah, that's all. And it's good. I, I just, uh, I just ask because uh, many, many people yeah. are like, oh, I know I need to do it, but I have no knowledge, and they don't touch. Yeah. But actually, no one has a knowledge from beginning. So I yeah. think it's important to try first. And yeah, then and learn then, from that. Then, of course, there are stuff then it's risky, more risky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to be careful or stuff then maybe you don't get so much money quickly. But a it's a one. bit slowly, but yeah, it's stable, more stable. So, of course, uh, it, that's the first things to understand. If you want to get money first, you probably are going to lose everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So the last question is going to be like this. For you two, what is the most important thing? to use money on what do you not mind using money on I'm doing something that i really like it it's something yep. that makes me feel like good but not just good but also balance for example mm. so traveling is one of the things because it's both a combination of leisure but mm. also it's something that they will make you grow personally and culturally so i think there is also a balance between 
uh, yeah, leisure and something good, good for you. Yeah. Um, so for sure, like my answer would be like traveling, but in a more general way, something that has a good equilibrium, like for both you and uh, your mental health also, and something that makes you feel very good as well. I, I agree with you. What do you not mind spending money on? Yeah, another thing for the same reason than, than traveling, it's like uh, doing sport, for example. Sport, yeah. Because, for example, I really like go to skiing in winter, and I don't mind how much I spend because it's something that makes me happy, makes me healthy, yeah. because I can stay fit, I can enjoy, I can stay outside, enjoy the, uh, many things, so it's something that yeah, I don't mind at all. Uh, that's true. So many things like that, but people are like, oh, I don't want to spend the money or that kind of thing. I'd rather save. But actually, life is one, man. Life is one, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 That's true. Enjoy your life. Enjoy and your life. Enjoy the ride. From that, you can learn so many things too. Okay. Um, thank you very much for your help. Uh, grazie. Yeah. <laughs> well, are you from ladies? From Perth. From yeah. Perth, Australia. Yeah, from Perth yeah. as well, but I moved here for study. Oh, really? Yeah. But you guys are basically from complete, completely the other side yeah, in Australia, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I, yeah, I've been there. It was really nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you do? What do you do here? Do you work or? Uh, me. I'm just traveling here. Traveling? For yeah. I holiday. mean, okay. Do you work in Perth? Uh, I just graduated last month. Oh, what did you so study? Nursing. Nursing? Oh, so you're yeah. obviously you're going to be a nurse. Yeah, so I work at a hospital now. Oh, you're working at a hospital yeah. now. Okay, what about you? Uh, I'm studying here. I'm doing my Master's of Biomedical Science. Biomedical Science. I'm not too... I'm not smart enough to understand what <laughs> what that degree is going to lead to you, but uh, what sort of job are you going to get? Um, hopefully to be a medical scientist. Medical scientist. Like okay. Oh, working in a lab. Okay, that's easy to understand. Yeah. Even for me. All right. In this video, this is very random, but I'm interviewing people here in Sydney. Um, some questions about money. You know, what people use money on and like what sort of values that people have towards money. My first question is going to be like this. Do you think you are a frugal person or extravagant person? Um, I'd say extravagant. To be oh, honest. really? Yeah. <laughs> why, why, like, why would you say so? I'd say because, no, for like the past... Probably like six months. I've just gone on like oh, so many holidays. <laughs> yeah, I've gone. On, yeah, so many holidays in the past like six months. Okay. So I'd say quite extravagant. Oh, I mean, <laughs> while yeah. studying and you know. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's good to enjoy our life. But yeah. do you spend lots of money on like expensive stuff or? Not really. Um, no, not really. Only just on holidays. Oh, just do whatever you like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Are you extra? Are you also an extravagant extravagant person? Um. I honestly say like I'm fairly frugal. Like oh, yeah. I, I like to be resourceful with what I have. Yeah, be resourceful. Um, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it depends like on the circumstance. So yeah, if I'm like having a holiday, then more likely to spend money on it's more extravagant things. But just like day to day life, tend to be a bit more frugal. Yeah. Be more frugal, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I understand that. I understand you though because you you had a hard time to study and yeah. I, I finally it's finished and of course you want to go for a, a bit of party, yeah? To, yeah, find a holiday. Yeah, holiday time. Okay, <laughs> right. So you're gonna be working as a nurse, or maybe you're already working as a nurse. How much uh, approximately do you get um, per week as a nurse in this country? Uh, I'm not quite sure because. Only doing casual at the moment. Okay. So yeah, um, it's only like thirty-seven an hour. So it's only like thirty-seven an hour. I I w <laughs> I wish I could say that. Yeah? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so maybe like usually a thousand, like two hundred dollars yeah. to something like that, yeah, maybe. A week, yeah. Okay. Let's say you get one thousand two hundred dollar a week, mm -hmm. and if you have to look for an accommodation to live on your own, mm -hmm. how much could you? pay for the house do you think what's your budget is gonna be it'd probably be maybe 250 to 350 oh that's not much yeah yeah that's only like 20 percent of your salary yeah. yeah yeah so you don't mind to live in a share house or yeah no I don't mind oh, okay yeah <laughs> what about you um, biomedical science working in a lab how much do you get per week mm. Um, when I was doing just like lab tech stuff, so the fairly like basic, I was getting around, yeah, around like 36 an hour, Yeah. 35. Um, but as a medical scientist, you definitely would get a bit more, depending if you work like rurally or if you work in the city. I think 
not sure how much it is per week, but it's probably closer to around like 90 to 100 thousand a year. Oh, that's a lot of money. Yeah. So you can definitely uh, can afford the accommodation by on your own, yeah? Yeah, but I, I actually like living with other people. Really? So, yeah. Even you have enough money to live by yourself, yeah. you want to live in a share house. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoy being with other people. Yeah. I, I can understand maybe 30%, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's, it's nice to be with someone and it's nice to know someone is in your, in your house, you know, sometimes. Yeah. All right. What do you spend the money on the most in your life? Probably say transport. Transport and like oh. food and stuff. Yeah. I didn't expect. Oh yeah, food. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. well, you go out to eat much or? Yeah, try to. Yeah. <laughs> Quite expensive, isn't it? Living extravagant. <laughs> yeah, living extravagant life. Yeah, what do you spend the money on the most? Uh, at the moment, it's probably rent. Yeah, rent. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, no, maybe not. <laughs> you guys have yeah, like, maybe food. I mean, yeah, I like food. I like going out to eat. Yeah, what, do you, do. what do you eat? Oh, I actually really love Japanese food. We just came from a Japanese restaurant. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. What yeah. did you eat? Uh, I had like a beef don. Beef don? Yeah. Okay, you yeah. didn't say, at least you didn't say sushi. You're already special, you know? 98% <laughs> um, people say uh, Japanese food, sushi. sushi. Yeah, yeah. Beef don, good don, love it, love it. Okay, and do you save money even you're, you say you're extravagant? I'd say at the moment, just because I only just graduated yeah, and true. only just starting work, I was like living paycheck to paycheck pretty okay. much. Enjoying life. But like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now since I've actually got a solid job, um, yeah, definitely yeah. will start saving this okay. year. Yeah. You save money for what? Like, wh what's the reason that you guys save money? Or do you save money? Yes, yeah. Yeah, what, yeah. Why, why do you save money? Go on holidays. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you gonna. I thought you were going to say I'm going to buy a house or something. But. <laughs> on a uh, holiday, yeah? Yeah, holiday. Yeah, what First. do you think? Yeah. Um, well, I was saving all of last year so I could come to Sydney to study. Yeah. So I'd have like a bit of money to live. Yeah. Um, but I think long term definitely would be saving for like a house. And yeah. A, yeah. Nicer car maybe. Okay. Yeah. Nicer car. Right. So the last question is going to be like this. What do, what do you not mind to spend money on? Mm. Holiday. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I would would have said so when I was younger, you know, yeah. because I'm really, my mum was always like, ah, try not to spend all the money you have, even for holiday, going somewhere too much sometimes. Yeah, my mum's the same. So yeah, the same. But, it, but it's it's actually important to experience many things as much yeah. as you can when you're young. So yeah. what do you not mind to spend the money on? What is the most important thing? Um, I honestly like, think it's the most important thing for me to spend money on is other people. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you mean by that? Like, I I really love like buying gifts for people. Um, yeah, I would just sometimes be shopping and just like, oh, I want to buy something for my family or for my friends. And I don't mind like if it's a lot of money, if it's for other people, I, I don't mind spending it. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect that I get such a deep, deep answer. But it's so true though. Like I was I was stingy as hell when I was younger. But yeah. now I know that you, more the more you become nice to people the more happiness you get in the life. Like, I'm not just saying, it is like this. So, it is yeah. actually true. Okay, we, let's we, let's save a bit of money and spend the money for other people. Yeah, <laughs> treating Me people, too. yeah. Yeah, I can say the same thing to myself. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy yeah. your day. Thanks. Thanks. Where are you from? We're from South Africa. South Africa. You guys a couple? Or? Yes, we're married. Oh, you're married. Yeah. Okay. Well, South Africa to Australia is really far, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it's very far. Yeah, we've been teaching English in South Korea for the last year. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah, we've got some family in Australia, so between contracts, we're visiting visiting Australia for yeah. about a month. Oh, that's <laughs> why I like your eyes color. Eyes color, by Thank the you way, very much. looking pretty nice. Okay, oh, your eyes color is really cool too. Thank you. Blue and green. Yeah. And what am I? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so you guys are teacher, yeah. English teacher. Yes. All right, this is very random, but in this video, I'm interviewing people here in Sydney, some questions about uh, money, you know, what people use money on and also what sort of value that people have towards money. Okay, first of all, do you consider yourself as a frugal person or extravagant person? I think we're somewhere in the middle because we do, we do enjoy saving money. Um, it's very important for us to save as much as we can, but we also like to, to set enough money aside yeah. so that we can make that a long-term process, the savings. So we need enough money to enjoy ourselves as well. That is true, yeah. that is true. You want to enjoy, um, at this moment, so people tend to spend all money in, okay. but also if you want to enjoy your life for a long time, yeah. you actually have to kind of sacrifice at the moment. Exactly. And then, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Are you a frugal person? 
No, I'm with him. Uh, like, same, yeah? yeah? Yeah. I'm definitely with him. I'm definitely the more saver. Yeah, I will she's save more every frugal. penny. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. more frugal, yeah. Yeah. yeah? All right. Um. So you're working as a teacher. And approximately how much do you get like per week, let's say? Okay. Um, if I could break it down to Australian dollars, um, per week after tax, we would get about... Um, just under a thousand dollars yeah um yeah under a thousand dollars after tax after tax that's a lot of money that is that is quite a lot of money yeah okay how much do you use in a week then uh 50 percent yeah 50 percent in a month yeah, yeah. We, we save 50 so, percent of our salary, salary. Ooh, that, that's quite a lot too <laughs> yes. okay and then you you easily can save up to like two two thousand dollar a month yeah, yeah. australian dollars yeah, yeah australian dollars that's a good saving Oh, that's a good saving. Okay, so what do you use the money the most in your life? Is it rent or do you have any hobbies or? Um, so I'd say rent contributes to a lot, a big part of the salary. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, I think food is, is the most important part in this part of the world. Food is really expensive. Um, we try to save on things like, like coffee, like we, we grind our own coffee beans and make our own coffee instead of buying coffee every day. Oh, because right. You think, you know, like over a couple of years, it really adds up to quite a lot if you buy coffee every single day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we try and keep healthy and live a balanced life. So we try and get enough fruit and vegetables as possible, which can be really expensive depending on what, where you are. Um, in Australia, it's not as difficult to find affordable fruit and vegetables, which is really great. And mm. meat is also quite affordable here. Um, but then we also enjoy experiences. I think that's where most of our money goes to. All oh, right, experiences. Is, yeah, yeah, experiences. And that includes like going to nice restaurants every now and then. But I think for the most part, balance is, is where it comes to. Okay. You really, you really know what you're doing in your <laughs> life, yeah? Because not many people can explain so smoothly about your like how, how you use money, you know? Yeah, we think about it a lot. Yeah, like we, we, we plan and we think about like how, where our money goes to and what yeah. we want to do in our life. So. You, you guys are very down to earth. <laughs> down to earth. Is that the right term to use? Yes, yeah, yeah down right to earth. To okay, um, so you said you save money uh, to enjoy your life in a long time. And also like you're saving money to buy a house in the future yes, or something? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's the first thing we want to do. Yeah. Okay, so the last question is going to be like this. What is the most important thing for you two to uh, use money? So we definitely want to have property. So yeah. that's the main thing that we're saving for. And But yeah, we're big foodies as well and just experiencing our life and also not holding back because we are not twenties and we want to just want to make the most of it. Yeah, but true. still be responsible, obviously. So you're balancing, like you need to save, but at the same time you need to enjoy your life too. Yeah. So half goes to saving and half goes to the experience. Yeah, yeah it's like Absolutely. that. A beautiful couple from South Africa. Thank you very much, yeah? Thank Please you. enjoy your time in Australia. Thank you, we will. You too. Thank you very much. Where are you ladies from? Oh, we're from Adelaide, South Australia. Adelaide, South yeah. Australia. Yeah. What do you do? Um, I just work full time at a cafe. At a cafe, yeah? yes? I am a student, so. You, yeah. what, what do you study? I'm studying speech pathology, third year. Oh, so what are you going to be after uni? A speech pathologist. <laughs> oh, speech pathologist. <laughs> All right. So, ladies, this is very random, but in this video, I'm interviewing people here in Sydney. Some questions about money, you know, yeah, how right people on. use money and uh, what sort of values uh, people have towards money and all that. Okay. First of all, first of all, do you think you're good at managing money or bad at managing money? I would say I'm good at managing money. Oh, you? I would think so. I yeah, think I think we I both think are. We are good. Yeah. So you ladies are very frugal, you say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We spend it on what like we think what we, we should. Yeah. yeah, what we need, not okay. like recklessly yeah. spending money. No, yeah. But yeah. you don't go crazy, eh? No. no. Okay, no. it's yeah. always in control. More, more comes in than what goes out. Yes. Uh, yes. Exactly. Oh, more comes in uh, than, than more spend. goes out. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so you're working in a cafe and how much do you usually get, um, um, like, let's say, approximately a week? Ooh, a week. Um, like $800? $800? Okay, you get $800 and how much do you spend in a week? Ooh, um, it would depend on, like, stuff that I need, like petrol and food and stuff. Oh, you drive, yeah? Yeah, I drive, so petrol and that is a bit more expensive. Probably in a week I would probably spend, like, like a hundred, two hundred dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I spend that much money. No. You live with your parents, yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, that's, why. that's good. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's why. Okay, but only like 100 to 200 dollars. You save a lot of money yeah. then. Saving a lot of money, yeah. Saving a lot of money, yeah. okay. Um, okay, after you get the bachelor degree or master degree, uh -huh. uh, you're working in that sort of field. Mm -hmm. How much can you get per week? I don't know. I'm <laughs> unsure. I know that this. Um, How much do you want to get per week? Oh, hopefully a lot. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I know the starting salary for a speech is around 70, 80 K. So I'm not sure what that equates to per week. But. Pro probably like a thousand, two, yeah. three hundred or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And you spend only like hundred to two hundred dollars a, a week. I'm the same. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah. okay. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're good at managing yeah. money. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to so. afford trips. We're going to yeah. afford to come here. Yeah, okay. going on holidays. holidays. Oh, yeah. going on holidays. That's why you can go on holidays. Yeah, exactly. Okay. What do, what do you spend the money on the most? in your life um so petrol definitely yeah um in adelaide um every the most common form of transportation is car not yeah. public yeah. transportation like it is here so petrol, petrol absolutely yeah. Yeah. yeah um and food groceries and petrol and that's yeah. the most okay and you save a lot of money and do you have any reasons that you save money or you just save money for the rainy day or um well i'm going to europe in june and I'm staying there for like six months, so that's what, what I'm for saving. For holiday? Yeah, for holiday. Six so. months? Yeah, <laughs> so I'm saving money for that. Oh yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Okay, like I was a backpacker when I was younger and I saw many Australian people yeah, in Europe yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. like, oh, I'm taking like a year off yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, like what the? Yeah, it's it coming here. We can't do that in Japan. Yeah, Your yeah. boss is not going to be mad no, at you? No, no, well my boss is actually my mum, so she's, <laughs> she's okay with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but taking time off uni and then going back when All I get right. back. Yeah. yeah well, what do you save money? Um, so I'm going tagging along for not as long. I'm only probably going to go for two to three weeks in Europe. Yeah. So we're doing Portugal and Spain. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just saving to move out. But I'm just saving to save at the moment. I don't need to spend it, so I save it. Right, so anytime you can move out. Yeah, yeah. so we'll just see. Yeah, I'm just waiting to see what happens with okay. that. I see. Yeah. Right, the last question is going to be like this. You know, people have a different value on money. Uh, people have different things that they want to spend money on in their life. But what is the most important thing for you ladies to spend the money on? I, could, I can say also like, what do you not mind spending money on? Okay, well, I think I have a mentality since I'm young, I mm. can get the money back. Mm. Yeah, so I'll save absolutely. it on things that give me like memories and I'll have fun while I'm young, kind wow. of thing. That's why you're going to Europe, yeah? Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Saving money to have fun, I yeah. think, for me right now is how I'm feeling. Okay, so yeah. you're, yeah, okay. What do you think? Uh, what do you use, um, what is the most important thing for you to use the money on? I would agree. I try not to spend so much on material and, and put it in experiences. So yeah. saving money to spend on like this trip now um, yes. and Portugal and stuff like that, concerts, yeah. nightlife, that kind of thing for yeah. me. Yeah, that is definitely good. I did that when I was younger, but I also spent a lot of money on a material thing because I yeah. wanted to show off. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. look at me, I'm rich, yeah. but it's it's nothing actually. Yeah, exactly. But the memory yeah. stays in my mind. Yes, so exactly. That's good, okay. Beautiful out, um, appearance and a beautiful inside as well. Thank you very much, eh? Thank you. Enjoy your day. Thank you. ということで今日はここまでですね。外国人にお金の使い方とかね、お金の価値観についてインタビューしてきたんですけども、皆さんいかがでしたでしょうか。結構いろんなこと学べましたよね。オーストラリアパース出身のお姉さんが言ってた人にお金を使う。深いけどさ、でも本当にこう人を幸せにすることで自分に幸せが訪れる。これって綺麗事じゃなくて、なんか僕も年を取れば取るほどそれ本当に実感してるんですよねまず優しくない人に誰も優しくしたいと思わないですからねあと他に出てくれたあのオーストラリア人のね女性2人組が言ってましたけど、まあ、10万円ぐらい収入稼いでで2万円ぐらいしかまあ使わないと俺親とねいくら住んでるとは言えどお金貯まりすぎでしょっていうねしかもそれで休みもいっぱい取れてっていう何ですか天国モードですかっていう前世でなんかいいことしたんですかっていうっていう感じですけども、えー、僕はとにかく一生懸命働いていつも僕のチャンネルを見てくれる皆さんをですね、えー、少しでもこう天国モードに導けるような動画をこれからも、えー、作っていきたいと思いますこの動画の概要欄の一番上にあるタラサクが作るワーホリ徹底ガイドの LINE では今後オーストラリアでワーホリをしようかなと考えているあなたが必要とする情報が全てひとまとまりにされていてどこよりも分かりやすく解説されているこの超有料級の新しい資料を来てくれた方全員にプレゼントさせていただいております僕の約3000人以上にわたるオーストラリアでの滞在歴100名以上のワーホリ経験者へのインタビュー100名以上のワーホリ未経験者への
インタビューこのパワーが全てひとまとまりにされたこの資料であなたの不安が一瞬で解消されます今後オーストラリアでのワーホリをお考えの方そして何よりワーホリを最上級に有意義なものにしたい方ぜひ概要欄のリンクからですねタラさんが作るワーホリ徹底ガイドの LINE ですね友達追加していただけたらなと思います人がどのぐらいお金を稼いでるのかとか気になるし人のお金の使い方も気になるって思ってたけどもなんかもう日本人飛び越えて世界のお金の価値観学んじゃったよってねっ浪費はダメ貯金は正義って一概に思ってたけども自分を幸せにする浪費なら時には大事なのかもってあれこの動画を見ることでいつの間にか浪費の「ロ」が「R」の発音になっちゃってるあなたがそこにいるのであれば見るだけで頭の中グローバル化しちゃったんだよ最後まで見てくれた皆さんありがとうございます面白いと思ってもらえた方はチャンネル登録忘れずに高評価も忘れずにまた次の動画でお会いしましょうバイバイ